So TML chose to stay on the CD side here. As we know, Cache is a slightly, slightly CD sided map because, well, you can you can look at it uh, different ways, of course. Uh, as it is very, very dis divided in two parts, which one is here and the second one's one here, the rotation route from both, both sides is much shorter from the CD side than it is from T side. So it takes CDs less time to rotate, unless terrorists. So Hoplo just storming into BC is an enemy. Edzon should get the kill. He does. Two versus three. Flexage on four HP probably won't going to happen for him as he goes down. Bardinho twelve HP one versus two. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe some lucky headshots, but I I don't believe. I don't believe. No. Nope. He gets denied by the TML. Again, uh, good luck to both teams, of course. But if if true meaning of life, I mean, they I haven't seen them much in Mirage City side, but if they will choose so to actually um, to actually pull out some strats on the T side, I believe they have quite the chance to win and Flexage wins a duel against Swengali here uh, with his tech 9 but he's very low so we shouldn't be counting him in the main push will be happening on B and there's only one player there in the headshot which is Edzon here he instantly goes down by Hopla well not instantly I mean it was one bullet to let him sleep there. 19 HP on Nisko. UMP 45. He'll try to go to Benz. Gets denied by Verdinho. And second. Oh, what an unfortunate time for Royal Devil to just look the other way. So SN1 versus 4. Gets nice. 3 kills. 4 kills. Is this the dream? He still has enough time to defuse the bomb. He just goes out for it right now. I mean, he is defusing the bomb and <laughs> never tell us jam. Uh, gets his second knife kill in this match. The thing is, he wasn't afraid to die because he knew that he will win the round anyways. So. That's why he pulled out the knife and actually got the kill. What a round. In the end, I really didn't expect SN to grab those four kills. All of the enemies were just running at him. And he was just, nope guys, I have an SMG. I know how to use it. You all get killed. That's what happened, so... I mean, crazy, crazy round. So Jabe, will he check the corner? No, he won't. He goes down to Edzon CZ. So it's four on four. Ward cleans out oh, the house on A. So the bomb will be get planted on A site here. We're just dueling with Edzons. Um, I, I believe Edzons ran out of CZ bullets. <laughs> and he will get knife. <laughs> what is going on? Oh god. Please. Is this the NGU new strat or something? Just. <laughs> Guys, if you wanna win. Uh, if you wanna win a round, just. Jabe, run to enemies, spawn, give them a scout. And just pray to God that they won't kill you with that scout. <laughs> and just try to knife them. I mean, that's a good strat. I don't see many good teams using it. So, I get Eco Run from the CT side here. 2 and 5. Not much that they can do. But there's still Svengali in the upper B here. The bomb has been dropped in the B lobby. So, it, it will, will get picked up eventually. And they pretty much know where the last member is. Again, he, he has the scout NCZ. Will it be deja vu for him? It looks like SN chose to save the gun. Which is very, very smart. 
The thing is here, Hoplo could just stand um, on the B side um, until the time runs out pretty much and then plant the bomb at the last second, letting his teammates to just run around and look for the last player. Uh, Flex, you actually saw him, so oh, what unfortunate time to grab the flashback and <laughs> he will go for the knife. <laughs> I'm really sorry for laughing, it's just, these things don't happen very often, I mean, uh, these things don't happen very, very often, <laughs> it's pretty fun to watch, and, uh, okay, so the score is 3-1, finally, it's a buy round from both teams. Hoplo actually running Tech 9 job day. What was that? I mean, two nice headshots. It was even over his teammate's head. What a nice break. Well, aiming there from that player. Hoplo burns out Nesco behind the Bobcat. Job day pretty much knows where the enemy is here. He gets him the off player, I believe, from the CP side. And Nesco gets knifed. What is happening? What is happening? Do these guys even need guns? I mean... This is starting to get embarrassing. I mean, a couple of times, okay, it's acceptable, it's funny, but now... I mean, this is just BM from Angel you said. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's an eco run from the CP side. Nice, nice flashbang, nice. <laughs> Nice flashbang, the shop sees an enemy there in the smoke, just the corner of the enemy was peeking out of the smoke and... Jim knows where the last enemy is and he goes, I, I don't believe this, no, no, Nisko, what? What? How? How? How is this possible? I mean, please. Guys, and again, I believe Sangali will get knifed. <laughs> I have, I have a strange feeling here. He will just run out of bullets. Actually, he gets nice, pretty nice 3k there, but okay, he gets shut down. But <laughs> I imagine that swarm of people, terrorists, just planting the bomb, knowing that they secured the round, <laughs> and just. <laughs> Pulling their knives out. Uh, I just don't know how to call this. I mean, Flexi bought the. F what? <laughs> what? He bought them again. I don't know. I mean, he knows that the enemies are on the buy round here, and I. He dinks Royal from that far. He dinks Nisko as well. Putting them down. To one and seven HP. <laughs> okay, so it's two and four situation. If they will lose this round, I don't believe they'll go for the silly strats again. <laughs> but this is such a BM from these players. He's just looking for. Ah, uh, he turned his back in the wrong moment, and this coach just peeked out, but. But, I mean, <laughs> that thing, <laughs> those two things by Flexage there. Um, they have established themselves in economies, some kind of economy, but I feel like if they lose this round, it will tremble. As if we, if, if we look at their economy, um, it's not very good so far. <laughs> so, Jim, will be mauling... Uh, this B site here and it'll be a B take. I mean, they have had some success on B sites and golly nice first kill They just have such a solid positions on B playing but from far Jabe will try to plant that bomb Unfortunately doesn't succeed at it Or will not find his kill completely potato gunning there in the end so I mean, by goofing around, true meaning of life, are starting to get back into this game. 
I mean, knife knife rounds are funny and stuff, but they don't win you the game. Maybe they do if you put enemies on tilt, but it didn't seem like they put too many of life on tilt because they took it so light, light-headed. Sangali, nice entry on Haplo and Edzon to actually get Jabe through the smoke. Give an up to this guy and he'll do some crazy, crazy stuff. Ward, he actually gets a set. Nice two dig shots. So, Flexage with Ward, 2 versus 2, Ward, the only thing is, he has only Deagle, so it will all com um, come down to Flexage hitting those off shots, so Royal gets a nice entry there, so one on one situation, does he know where Nisko is? Nisko sees him first, pulls out that USP, I believe Tech 9 is a little bit better! Oh, he banged the enemy. I think he heard it as well. No time left. Not a lot of time. And Flexage. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Dead, no. no way. No way. No way. Oh, my God. Uh, no way. <sighs> okay, so it's 6-3, Flexage with the miracle clutch in the end. It was 2 versus 4. Um, Royal tried to do an aggressive peek with the knob. That H, he barely missed gem as well, so... that Those two entries on A should secure them this, um, this round. Um, gem didn't wait for the smoke to pop off. Oh, a nice headshot there in the corner, but... I mean... Um, Jim didn't wait for the smoke to properly pop out and just let enemies pre-fire him. Uh, Ward gets one nice kill. Will he get another one? No, Edzon's barely dodging. One versus two fakes. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it's working. He should pretty much expect that he will. That he's getting hunted down by knife knifing players. M4 is still too good for knifing players, I mean. He'll just try to get out. Doesn't get get the opportunity. <laughs> oh. No no, I don't think this will be happening again in their lives. I think they will be so, so scared to get knifed one more time in these games. They will just... Nah. They'll be ready for the knife kills. How many knife kills did they get? I think they they got like... Okay, so Gem sees one in the A main. This is Nico round, so we shouldn't expect much, but... I mean... They got four on this map and one on the Mirage, so five knife rounds total. I mean... <laughs> SN... Very low again. I, I feel like they're playing like too too loosely now because it was two on two situation. He still went for the knife kill, leaving Wardinho one versus one on Svengali. And if Svengali will pull out this miracle uh, clutch here, I don't know. Those will be two rounds that NGU lost. <laughs> just from uh, goofing around. The bomb is ticking down faster and faster and <laughs> in the end gets Svengali. The only player that they didn't knife is Svengali, I believe so. I mean, it, it's a small addition to this game called Knife Svengali, I mean, but um, still, the gunfights are more important. <laughs> Ward gets a nice entry there, and this is another buy round. Hoppel and Jabe running with pistols and SMGs. Um, I really don't know why. I think they have the money. Let's see. Ward gets another kill. I mean, this stand-in um, for AGU is doing some work. 14 kills in. This map. 
But let's look at their money. Jabe, no, actually, he didn't have that, uh, that much money at the start of this round, but his teammates could definitely drop him something. But nevertheless, it's 4 on 3. Uh, the round is still going on, so do they know? They know where SM is, but. Okay, Nisko goes down to gem 1 versus 4. Svengali again. I, I feel that they will try to knife him. I mean. <laughs> they are really going for it. They are. I, I, I saw them pulling out the knives here. <laughs> He's just hiding in his base like, no, I won't get knifed. <laughs> he's so he's so ready for enemies to, to swarm him down that, I mean... He only has 25 bullets in his FAMAS. So if he'll run out of bullets here, he'll definitely get knifed. Okay, so he has run out of bullets. Oh, he has 5 7 as well. He gets 2, and the bomb goes down in the end here. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so the mini game has ended. Oh my god. Um, 6 knife kills. Ah. <sighs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> okay, mission accomplished from NGU side. They can play. They can play their game now. They're still going for the knife knife kills. I mean, Jabe gets one on. Why, guys? Why? Jabe gets one more. I mean, two versus three. I don't know. It's really hard to cast this game at this point. They have to take a break. Nisko, very low. I feel like they will be saving their guns. Yes, they will. Because looking at their economy, I don't think they will be able to buy. I think Edzon, uh, Nisko will be able to drop for his teammates 100%. So it will be like half buy for them in the next round. But 10-3 will be the score in a couple of seconds. And this is... Looking disastrous for True Meaning of Life, especially when they found Edzons here. So one gun less for their team. No, actually they're very good uh, money-wise. So Nisko will be able to drive for uh, yeah, drop, drive, uh, drop for Svengali. And they are in full buy, so even three Mali's on their team, so it's all Gucci for them. So they have to win these two round rounds. Wait, look, let's look at the Hoplo money. So, like, Jim could drop Hoplos and, and AK, but he's just nah, nah, guys. I'm I'm fine with my Nova here. All all good, all good. I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah. So it'll be a uh, Blitzkrieg here on A side, completely smoking everything off, but Nisko, he finds one, will he find another? No, he missed his shots on Jabe, but what are they doing? They're just completely ignoring him, I believe. Hopla. <laughs> Gets a Zeus kill. I mean, Zeus kill isn't as spectacular as a knife kill, you, you have to agree on that one, but still a good one. <laughs> And true meaning of life, get, get one round in return. So this could have been 10, 10, uh, 12 to 2, I, I believe, if they actually didn't throw two rounds. I mean, NGU's <laughs> Zeus challenge. <laughs> How many of them have Zeus? They all have Zeus. I mean, oh boy. This, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. And I mean, they're pulling this stuff on T side. I mean, they can just hide on CT side and get those kills much easier. But nevertheless, this is the last round of the first half. Nisko drops Hoplo, which is carrying the bomb. Ford will go down shortly, I think. This HE should do a lot of damage. So they know where Nisko is. Flex is barely missing him with his Zeus. And it will be a mow down from the tourist side, from the CT side. Lord, oh my God, why? Why? Why you do this? Why?
die. Okay, so nevertheless, 10 to 5 NGU dominant T side. As we've seen, of course, they goofed down, uh, goofed a lot during that first hop, but I mean. Um, true meaning of life, grabbing those five rounds, they're still in this. Maybe their T side is incredible. We'll see just shortly. Yeah, Warden is like a stand-in, a stand -in, so Raw had some technical difficulties, so he didn't, uh, he was unable to play. So they took Wardenio as a stand-in, Warden. <laughs> Um, the second half should start shortly here, so both teams are ready to start. <laughs> and so do I. Oh guys, you're, st you're actually counting along the Zeus challenge. I think they got three. I'm pretty sure they got three or two. Maybe you're right, maybe they got through. I'm sorry, um, about uh, the nose thing, I'll probably stop. So again, first round, look what they are doing. I mean, five Zeus on their team, Jabe misses his one and gets a nice headshot in return. I mean, the only, the only downside of this, they don't have armor. Like none of them have armor, so they will suffer from aim punch. Like they will get aim punched like hell. And Hoplo, whoa, got a ding from very far away with the Glock. Ward still waits his uh, prey. Will he get? Will he get it? Jim gets one more on this code there, so. It's 2 on 5, but if we look at the health bars from the CT side, I mean, they're all low, and Edzots get two nice kills. Uh, nonetheless, this will be an A push from the terrorist side, unless they change their minds, but there are only 35 seconds left. Flexage gets one more <laughs> at the Zeus. One versus three. 24 seconds left and the B side is clear. If Edzons only went B and planted the bomb, it could have been his round, but I think um, I think Warden just saw enemy there. And Hoplo gets the last kill on A side. Very nicely done there. Nonetheless, if that was a pistol, he would have gotten him anyways, I believe. So, 11 to 5. The pistol round goes in favor of NGU. I believe this... This is like... Um, this was the last hope for True Meaning of Life to get back into this game. Um, there's not much room to work around. Uh, the remaining... Like, if, if if NGU actually wins this round in the next one, which they could, Ward gets a nice max 7 kill, um, getting extra money. But if it go, will go 13 to 5, I believe, this is one shot, and he gets him in the end. So only Swangali left, 10 HP. Um, they have full control of the bomb now, so I don't think this round will go into uh, Terrorist's favor. And he goes down eventually. I believe he could have saved that from us. Maybe it could have uh, made some kind of difference in the end, but uh, it certainly does not now. But the thing is... Um, it, if it will be 13 to 5, there are only 3 rounds um, of breathing room for a true meaning of life to work with, and, uh, to make mistakes, and so I don't know. <laughs> Jim actually aggressively pushes in, gets dropped, almost instantly, Flexage runs in, sees the enemies, <laughs> oh, the return kill <laughs> from Edzons. <laughs> I think now the score should reset, absolutely. Like, if... If enemy pulls pulls it out against you, <laughs> I think the score should reset. Like this was a proper revenge there. Uh, 
so 13 to 5 as I predicted here actually true meaning of life well they don't have enough money this round because they were buying uh, on the last round well they bought uh, pistols and maybe some players bought nades as well so Jabe here with the scout misses his shot he sees a lot of enemies in the middle so this should be a huge sign for counter terrorist royal gets oh they both missed their zoo skills what an unfortunate job, he gets one more kill in the middle, 2 on 2, still doable from the terrorist side. Svengali got dropped, 6 HP, this knight should do it. Jam with a Kobe, gets him and adds on Spawn versus 2, still he has an M4. The only thing is that he doesn't have armor and it's really hard to duel enemies um, because of the kickback that you are having when you don't have armor so flex as you buy by zone I don't think by zone is good anymore against armored enemies and as we can see um, yeah it's doing 10 damage to armored enemy I think with each bullet so you have to land 10 precise bullets into their bodies to make it happen so Jim lurks his way into a main will get dropped down by Royal very nice kill there through the smoke and flex is the zoo <laughs> I don't believe NG you can throw the game at this point but if they will TML will deserve every bit of that victory so Jabe gets two nice kills with M4 here. Hoplo, Nova time. And Svengali gets dropped down by the um, by the shotgun squad there. So only Wardinho left. And it looks, it looks like the Go TV bug. And uh, unfortunately, we won't be able to see this one on one. As admin explained to me, after the match, match is over. Let's actually see their economy. Yeah, they wouldn't be able to buy next round. So uh, they just rushed somewhere and died instantly. So this probably went 16 to 5. But unfortunately, unfortunately, this happened. So when the game ends, uh, the server automatically shuts down Go TV to stop recording. So th that's the moment where when we are getting shut down completely. So let me actually give you a link to the bracket here.